Oh, let's see. Here we go. So, what we are working on today a uh, text message from Poor Very Wild. Miss CW's getting a cast, it looks like, so now she can clobber him in the head. She broke her, broke her wrist exercising. See, that's why exercise is not good for you, so stuff like that happens. I'm just kidding. Um, Alright, let's get a little Mr. Camera here. Alright, so this is what we're working on. we got a miniature tripod right here. That's a late 80s snapper RT5 um, rear time tiller that my dad bought brand new in 86, 85, somewhere in there. Until about 89, <coughs> and uh, it just wasn't big enough anymore. And uh, we went and bought a Troy built, and basically, this one got put up in storage. Um, it's kind of been there ever since. The thing is with it is I got uh, I got a hair and uh, started to take a look at it. And I knew the engine was weak. It was weak back then. Uh, compression was a little low. It was blow, blowing uh, blue smoke. It had been used a lot, you know, in four years. It's got a five horse Briggs and Stratton on it. And uh, carbs free. It's got old, probably 10 year gasoline in it. But it's got next to no compression. I kind of figured that's what we were going to be looking at when I got it here. This is my tiller now. It's actually been my tiller for a few years. I just hadn't gone and got it. But it's got, it's really, really low compression. So, what we are going to do is we're going to pull that five horse off and assuming everything works okay, all right, we're going to put on this newer model, four horsepower. Briggs off of this little go kart deal I built for the kids to use. Um, I'm going to crank this one up and get it to run, make sure it's going to run okay. And then I've got to stand that one up on its end and pull the bottom plate off of it and make sure the shaft is the same size. I believe it is. Um, we'll see. I know this is a taller deck engine you can see but it's taller that one it's one more horsepower it looks to be about the same size as the old eight horsepower that was originally on this tractor so it may have a bigger shaft in it I don't know yet. if it don't then we're going to swap it and run it with a four horse until I can rebuild this motor or find another uh, five horse, probably you could buy one of those Japanese things. Um, one thing about this is, is about six years ago it had got loaned out to a friend of my father's, and he put a spark plug in it and. 
And I know I'm not using a spark plug socket, but I got a good reason for that, and I'll show you in a second. And uh, the guy that used it said he was a mechanic, but he wasn't. And uh, he really, really, really boogered up the threads. Let's see. Let's see if you can see that. Boogered up the threads. That may be part of the reason of its such low compression. Um, but it was, you can see how dirty the plug is just from fuel pulls. That's oil. It's got bad rings in it. I'm pretty sure it's got one burnt valve. And I know it's got that bad head on it. Um, so I think that engine's probably just junk. Um, it wasn't in the greatest shape back when it was running. And, uh, so. But the deal is, this tapper, uh, these are designed to actually sit up on my nose like that. But you can see the tines are still in really good shape. There's a little bit of leakage around the gearbox in the back, the tine box. Little leakage around the uh, rubber bung plug. The clutch is dry rotted. But uh, all in all, other than the engine, this thing's in pretty decent shape for being as old as it is. So uh, we're going to get after it and we're going to tear this motor off of it. See what we can do with it. Cause I got a lot of ground to break up for my garden this next year and I want to have a reliable one. I don't need one that's super powerful or that'll run super fast. I just need one that'll get the job done. So if that four horse will fit, then we're going to go that route. If it won't fit, then I'm going to be hunting around for a uh, another one. I'll probably upgrade and go with a, probably an eight or a ten horse. Briggs. If I'm lucky, I can find a a, a uh, Kohler. I really prefer Kohler motors. I just that's my preference. That's what my tractor's got in it is Kohler. She's got a Kohler in it, and that thing's been dead reliable. Now this one is a five and a horse, five and a half horse Briggs. But that lawnmower is only two, two, three years old, so I don't really want to tear that one down to put the motor on on a, that tiller. So I don't think I'm gonna go that way after out. Anybody need a junk 3.8? Uh, tons and tons of things to do. So. I'm going to get to work. I'll update y'all once I get this green one here running. And uh, we'll shoot some more of it running. I'll we'll make sure it runs and runs good before I even go down that route. And then I'll pull that other one apart and I'll probably tear it down and take a look to see if it's even going to be worth messing with. And uh, while I'm standing out here talking, I did take this to the gun range this morning, and uh, I tell you what, I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed by what them targets look like, but I'm I'm rusty. I need more practice. There we go. We're gonna get back to work. We'll see y'all later.